Okay, team, here's what's been happening on Ghost Rider. The facts. First, there's trouble on the Ghost Rider team. Alex and Gabby's dad ran into Lenny's dad's van. Nobody was hurt, but Max is a musician, and all of his instruments were totally wrecked. I can't make a living without my instruments. How am I supposed to pay my rent? No one can agree about what happened. Mr. Fernandez says someone ran in front of his truck, so he swerved and accidentally hit Max's van. I do my best to avoid hurting someone, and these are the thanks that I get. Max didn't see anybody run into the road. He thinks Mr. Fernandez hit his stuff on purpose. He even said once that he wanted to destroy my instruments. Tina was at the scene of the accident and got the whole thing on video. She didn't see anybody running either. Now, the team's in a big fight. Lenny is on her dad's side, and Alex is sticking up for his own dad. The whole thing happened in a split second. Excuse him for not having enough time to find the parking okay, space. calm down, guys. Nobody time to swim all the way across the street to hit my dad's stuff. Gabby's upset, too, because Tina told a reporter that her dad was driving like a madman. Gabby, I'm sorry. Just like Lenny, accusing my dad. Don't even talk to me, Tina. So, Jamal watched Tina's videotape to figure out what really happened. And look, there were two people running down the street. Jamal's on the case talking to other witnesses and starting a case book. And, to add to all the trouble, Calvin Ferguson is getting very nosy. How can you stop the fight? I have been. But since Calvin can't see Ghost Rider, he's really confused. So, Calvin decides to pretend to be whoever Rob's been writing to and learn something really important. The team better get their act together soon. Calvin is hot on their trail, and their dads are fighting big time. Get a pencil in your casebook out and keep track of the clues, because the Ghost Rider team is on the case. $10,000. You know, Max was in here the other day trying to get the money from my father. Looks like he still wants it. Yeah, and if Papa can't come up with the money... He can be in serious trouble with the law. Now he's got a lawyer. He's going to take me to court. I can't believe Max would do that. Max is a nice man. I'll show you how nice he is. Lay eso. Okay. So everybody's feeling very angry right now. That doesn't mean we can't work things out. Now you tell that to Max's lawyer. No, I have a better idea. I'm going to talk to Max. No, 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 no. This is not your problem. I'll deal with Max. Don't tell me this is not my problem. Esto nos afecta a todos. Tú eres cabeciduro, Eduardo. I think we better go. Listen, don't call me Stover, okay? I don't like... Why does friendship always end? It does for me. When my dad was in the Air Force, we always had to move. I had to leave my friends behind. But this is worse. Get him a good lawyer. Ew, what a horrible smell. Gabby, you better watch what you say around her, Gabby, before she sicks her lawyer on you. Oh, come on, stop it, guys. What are you picking on me for? I didn't do anything to you. Thanks to your father, my father might get sent to jail. What are you talking about? Don't play dumb, Lenny. Your father's trying to get our father in trouble with the law. I didn't know about that. Oh, yeah, sure you didn't. Ghost Rider. So that's what GW means. What does Ghost Rider mean? It must have something to do with writing, because Jamal and Rob were writing to him. You're brilliant, Calvin! Of course, I'm missing the obvious. Jamal wrote to him, I can too. Earth to Ghost Rider. <laughs> that was pretty funny. Come on! 
This isn't working. And I can't ask Lenny and her stupid friends. They're still going at it. You should have let What's up, Lenny? Both of you, stop it. Hmm. Rob! Hi. I, I haven't seen you for a while. Yeah. I guess we haven't been much of a team lately. I feel like some of it's my fault. You? What did you do? It's more like what I didn't do. I could have tried talking to everybody and trying to make them calm down. I could have tried harder, too. I don't want the team to split up. Hey, I'm on my way to the bodega right now. You want to come? OK, let's go. What do you think you're doing? What does it look like? Oh, no, you don't. You're not shopping in our store. It's a free country. I can shop anywhere I want. Except our store. You know, I wouldn't be so picky if I were you. Looks like your father could use the business. Would you guys stop? This is between your fathers, not you. Fine. I'll go shop somewhere where the food isn't rotten. Would you guys just stop following me? I'm leaving, all right? I just wanted to make sure you were gone. Oh, there she is, Tina the traitor. Gabby, I only came to apologize. Don't even talk to me, Tina. I can't believe she'd have the nerve to walk down our block. After what you did to us. Uh, guys, come on. Okay, hey. now that we're all here, I think this will be a good time. So they're blaming you too? Listen, Jamal, we've been friends for a long time now. Whose side you on? Come on, guys, okay? Look, I mean, I'm not taking anybody's side. Now, would you all just please shut up? I don't believe I even considered making up with you, Gabby. I can't believe I was ever friends with a backstabber like you. <laughs> Right, Attila. I am brilliant. <gasps> What's up, Calvin? I figured out a way to steal Ghost Rider away from them. When they stuck together, they were too strong for me. But now that they're breaking up, it will be easier for me to bring them down one by one. <laughs> Do you remember anything about the guy who ran in front of your truck? Was he young, old? Fat, thin. It all happened so fast, I really didn't get a good look at him. Anything you can remember will be helpful, sir. If we can find this guy, we can prove that you were not driving recklessly. See, Papa, Jamal believes you too. I'm pretty sure he had red hair. Ah, red hair, it's good. Mm -hmm. Anything else? Can you remember what he was wearing? I only saw the top of his head. Well, let's just start anyway. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Oh, hi. It's not much to go on. Yeah, I know. Guy with red hair. Man, you know, I can't believe Tina didn't catch at least a piece of that guy on her videotape. She caught all the rest of the accident. Hey! What? There was a guy running on the videotape. Actually, there were two. Did one of them have red hair? Well, you couldn't see either one's head. And they weren't running anywhere near the truck during the accident. But I think we should take another look at that videotape after school. So we're going to take a look at the videotape this afternoon. You want to come? I don't know, Jamal. Who else is going? Just some of the team, you know. Alex and Gabby? I'm not sure. Sorry, Jamal. Maybe some other time. Aw, uh, come on, Lenny. How long are you guys going to act like this? Hey, Jamal, you got a leash for that dog? Arf, arf, arf! Shut up, Alex. I'm so sick of you. That's it. I've had enough of the both of you. Hi, Lenny. You okay? I'm just fine, so go away. Here. Thanks. So what's wrong? Nothing. Except Alex Fernandez is the world's biggest jerk. Wow, you'll be famous. Pretend that I'm a 
superstar and interview me. Act like you're really impressed, okay? <laughs> Watch this. <laughs> Those were the two guys I was telling you about. But I don't see how it's going to help us. They ran away before the accident even happened. Well, maybe one of them ran back toward your father's truck and it's just not on the tape. Yeah, that's true. Let's take another look. If one of them ran in front of my father's truck, we need to learn everything we can about him so we can find him and prove my dad is innocent. Maybe those words will give us a clue. What do they say? They're too fuzzy to make out. Hey, why don't we ask Ghostar to help us? He can read anything. Let's ask Ghost Rider to look for the real picture with these words on it. If he can find it, he can search near it for clues. Then we can figure out who the guy is. Soggy again. Now, those real sentences, they sound so silly. Yeah, it's like they're promising you something. You'll never go soggy again. <laughs> Fun to say, too. Tingle on your tongue, tingle on your tongue, tingle on your tongue, uh, tingle on your tongue. Gabby, Gabby, I get the points. You know, they sound sort of familiar. Yeah, like it reminds me of something. Hey, have you ever seen a TV commercial for Bubbly Bubblegum? It's the bub bub bubbliest. Yeah, and how about that one for a Cookie Cat cereal? I'm crazy for Cookie Cat. <laughs> They're advertisements. You know, catchy lines that help you sell something. Advertisements. Let's test our theory out on an expert. Grandma, uh -huh. could you come out here for a sec? Ah, Grandma, we need the expert opinion of a beautiful and brilliant woman. Ooh, that's me, all right. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever heard any of these before? Um. Oh, of course. Mmm. Just a cup in your machine. Get your whole wash mighty clean. It's tough on dirt. It's downright mean. That's the might of Mighty Clean. That's funny. <laughs> mighty Clean was the detergent my mama used. They used to play that jingle on the radio all the time. How about these lines? Um, sorry, I only know that one. Thanks, Grandma. You've been a big help. Oh, all right. Mighty bright, mighty clean, that's the might of mighty clean. So mighty bright, mighty clean is an ad for laundry detergent, which means he must be carrying an ad for mighty clean detergent. Yeah. <laughs> so how about that other guy? It looks like he has writing on his shirt. Hmm. Let's ask Ghostwriter to read that too. Up 
against the wall art gallery. I wonder if it's in the neighborhood. I'll check. Found it. And it's only a couple blocks away from the bodega. Let's go. Oh, no, I can't. I promised my father I'd come right back home. Will you let me know what happens? Sure. Uh, excuse me, sir, but did you happen to see a man... May I help you? I hope so. Last Wednesday, my friend was making a video on Cumberland Streets, and I think she taped this gentleman running behind a man in a green shirt. Uh-huh. Well, I think the guy in the green shirt was carrying an ad for a mighty clean detergent. Do you know anything about that? Why don't we sit down, huh? I'm Daryl Thomas. I own this place. Jamal Jenkins. We had a robbery last Wednesday. A guy came in here and stole a valuable painting. Was his shirt green? Yes. Uh, he ran out of the store and Joseph chased him all the way to Cumberland Street. Can you tell me what the thief looked like? Uh, he was in his 30s. Uh, thin, not too tall. What color was his hair? Mm, red. Right, Joseph? I knew it. Excuse me? Well, I think our thief ran out into the street and caused a major traffic accident. That's why I'm looking for him. Uh, did you... Uh, did Joseph happen to see the guy run in front of a truck on Cumberland? Joseph? I tripped and fell. He's still very upset he didn't catch the thief. He feels like he's failed me. Well, did you see what direction he went? Sorry. Hmm. Did you even notice a truck crash into a van or at least hear anything? Yeah, that much I caught. Joe knows crashes. <sighs> Great. Thank you, Joseph. You're not my friend. This is the end. Don't want to be around you I can't forget the things you said So forget I ever found you I want to find this guy as much as you do. That painting he stole was worth $5,000. Wait a minute, I'm confused. How can an ad be worth $5,000? Advertising can be art. But there have been lots of beautiful illustrations over the years. Uh, ah. Hey, that's the same picture I saw on the videotape. But I still don't see why it would be worth $5,000. The thief stole the original painting that was used to make the ad. Mm. Well, it says here that this is one of Jarvis O'Connor's earliest illustrations. O'Connor later went on to become a world-famous artist. I guess that means that everything he did is worth a lot of money. You got it. Was that ad for Mighty Clean your most valuable painting? No. Uh, in fact, several here are worth much more. So then why the thief steal that one? I don't know. Oh, excuse me. I'll be right back. Maybe there's something in here about the painting that will help explain why the thief stole it. Jarvis O'Connor's first advertisement was for Stay Crunch Cereal, now famous for the classic headline, You'll Never Go Soggy Again. Hey, that's one of the lines Ghost Rider sent me. Grandma knew this line, too. I wonder what else does it say? O'Connor's great talent quickly earned him other assignments. Mighty clean laundry soap. Mighty bright, mighty clean. That's two. I wonder if I can find the next one.
Here it is, Dr. Bruin's sparkling soda. We put a tingle on your tongue. A tingle on your tongue? Excuse me? Uh, nothing. I mean, was this painting the only one you had by Jarvis O'Connor? Yes. So, the thief must have had a thing for Jarvis O'Connor paintings. The other words that Ghost Rider read, they might have come from other stolen paintings. Thanks for your help. Hello, Lieutenant McQuaid. It's Jamal Jenkins. Yes, I'm calling to ask if you found the guy who robbed up against the wall. <laughs> no, we haven't found him yet. By the way, have there been any more Jarvis O'Connor paintings reported stolen? Three more robberies in the New York City area? <laughs> Just a lucky guess. Yes, sir. Yes, we'll let the police handle it. Thank you. Bye-bye. I knew it. If we can track down those paintings, we'll be able to find who jumped in front of Mr. Fernandez's truck. Man, when the team hears this, they're going to jump all over this case. Fight or no fight. whispering and looking at me. Do you mind? I'm trying to concentrate. I'm trying to finish writing this pen pal letter to Maribel, okay? Could you please just keep it down already? to write when you're depressed. What do you know about it? Nothing. I'm just talking about life in general. People are funny, aren't they? You think you can trust them, then they turn on you, just like that. Tell me about it. You can't trust anybody. I had a friend once I could trust. An imaginary friend. <laughs> yeah. His name was Mr. Boy. And I was the only one that could ever see him. Have you ever had an imaginary friend, Rob? One you couldn't see? What's wrong? Nothing. You mind, Calvin? I want to get back to work. Yeah, well, we'll chat again. Real soon. Ghost Rider, don't do this to me. 